Ryan Garcia is officially tired of you zesty, demonic aliens disrespecting Jesus Christ and Christianity as a whole. Uh, and usually making a stance like this, like Ryan just did today, it, it wouldn't be as dangerous for a fighter, someone in the fight game in boxing or MMA, because most of their fans are usually masculine male males and they, they will usually like support something like this but someone like ryan garcia who's a stardom he's a superstar and he goes beyond the fight game like most of his fans literally don't even watch fighting they like him because of his content that he uploads on social media and the way he looks right So something like this can be dangerous for his fan base and for his sponsors, right? Because, uh, you know, you know that he has like a lot of female fan base and a lot of them support the LGTB community. And I would say most of his fans, most of the people that follow him, the man has like, what, 10 million followers on Instagram. I, I genuinely believe most of them are females. And I believe a big percentage of them support the LGTB community. So today he uploaded a t uh, on Instagram, I don't know if he tweeted this, but he uploaded on Instagram saying, shame on Target for, you know, Target, you know, rolling out merchandise for, you know, toddlers and shit, supporting the LGTB community. And he said, shame on Target, pull that demonic artwork designed towards kids because they see nobody is falling for that. I got kids, don't attack the kids, they are innocent. Very true, the moment you bring kids into this shit, it, it goes beyond disrespectful, right? For what they're fucking doing. His next post was a couple minutes later. He says, who I believe in, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I always have. What am I scared at? They promote demonic things to kids. I can care less what people do due to their sexual orientation, but demonic things towards kids, I'm not with that. And I agree 100%. A lot of people are gonna either fully agree with him like I said, a bunch of other people who follow him and support him are going to honestly stop supporting him. They're going to start fucking hating on him. A lot of people that love him, love the way he looks and shit like that. You know, the shit that he posts on social media, all his cool TikTok dances. But, you know, the thing about that is that he, you know, he's been tired of being called a social media fighter. He's been called of being a TikTok fighter. He took a fight with Gervonta Davis. Like he rushed that fight because he, he just wanted that shit to be removed from his name being called a social media fighter a tiktok fighter he knows that the, the china the china made tiktok just so it could you know influence the west in a negative way they knew it was going to come down to america and then a bunch of these kids were going to get addicted and it was only going to make them zestier and they'll start doing like quick dances and shit and blowing up but nonetheless he wanted that shit removed from his name so he jumped into fighting Gervonta davis and the thing about that is that the you, you know it got personal the moment he started seeing zestiness from Javante Davis. It started in the press conference when Ryan Garcia had these masculine, masculine boots. I got heels on, okay. Nothing zesty about these boots. But Javante made fun of his boots and the moment he made fun of him, he was like, fuck no, I'm not taking this. And then he pointed out his purse, Gervonta's purse. And he started making fun of him for rolling up with the purse. And you had a purse on yesterday, shut up. Okay, come on now. Yeah, yeah, you got one on now, come on, man. I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna knock him out, and that's it. We'll see you April 22nd. At that point, the fight got beyond personal. It wasn't just about winning and proving that he's not a TikTok fighter. At that point, he saw Gervonta as a demon who was supporting the LGBT community and he had to put him out. We all know Gervonta grew up horrible. He grew up very rough and a lot of people look at him as a gangster or as hood. But the truth of the matter is that Gervonta is friends with like the most celebrities, the most rappers, and a lot of them have been infected. You, they, a lot of them have been acting, you know, the hip hop culture, the celebrity culture has become real feminine. And you know, it's, it's pretty much infected Gervonta over the years where you're seeing this man dress very girly. You see him wearing purses and shit like that. You see him doing these very erotic sexual dances online in which he executes them pretty good. But 
Ryan Garcia has had enough of that bullshit and he had to put him out. In his mind, he had to put him out. Unfortunately, he got stopped in the seventh round with a body shot and he couldn't get up because he, at that point, he pretty much gave up on himself because he, he'd rather the fight end there than him get knocked out by this purse-wearing, purse-wearing midget. He got down on his knees as he looked up at this purse-wearing midget. They were at almost like the same height at that point. Ryan was on his knees, but he was still uh, like, you know, the same height, around like 5'2", but he just couldn't get himself to get up because he did not want to get knocked out by this man. He didn't want that to tarnish his name, you know, he knew he was going to lose at that point, so he'd rather just quit than get completely flatlined by a, a 5'2 purse wearing midget. Ryan Garcia's next post a couple minutes after that was a video of a man two men two gay men disrespecting jesus as one of them was tied up on the cross and another man was like sexually dancing on top of him a very disrespectful video and he says take a look at the disrespect of jesus nowhere else is this allowed true the dodgers should be ashamed of themselves it's okay for the disrespect but if you speak up it's a problem like i said ryan is playing a dangerous game right now when it comes to his sponsors and his relationship with people and his you know his support his fan base but i truly respect him for making this stance because a lot of people are scared of this shit. this is rare right here for celebrities especially cele celebrities that have a fan base that's pro that's like more leaning towards females because i believe he has more of a female fan base than male fan base so making this type of stance is really going to divide him when it comes to sponsorships friendships everything but uh, I genuinely support the shit out of him for doing this because yeah, the, you know When it comes to the trans and all LGBTQ like all of that's whatever, you know Let them do what they do, but with the moment you start, you know Bringing up kids and trying to sell have like like imagine you're a toddler, right? You're two years old three years old You don't even know how to say a fucking word, right? And your parents have you wearing LGBTQ rainbows support like saying a whole bunch of weird shit, right? And then you grow up to be a fucking masculine, hard right Republican. Not even that, but just somebody who's fucking straight, like just a straight male. Like you look at your parents like, what the fuck do you have me wearing? But yeah, nonetheless, big respect to Ryan and fuck Target.